Fu tea has long been used in traditional Chinese medicine to support liver and kidney health, to fight various effects of ageing and to nourish the heart and calm the spirit. Many of Fu tea's benefits are due to its supply of antioxidants and beneficial compounds, including anthroquinones, amodin and chrysophanic acids. In Chinese medicine, it's said to be a natural liver and kidney youth-giving tonic. This means it's taken to improve the general well-being and for its invigorating properties. The Fu tea's benefits include its ability to help to treat numerous health conditions like tuberculosis, cancer, prostatitis, high cholesterol, insomnia, skin ailments, constipation, atherosclerosis, neurodegenerative diseases and joint pain. Fu tea is used to fight the signs of ageing, including hair loss and the greying of hair, as well as to improve the skin's appearance by treating conditions like acne, eczema and dermatitis. Fu tea is a Chinese herbal medicine that's derived from a plant that primarily grows in China, Japan, Tibet and Taiwan. It's a member of the Polygonaceae family and has red stems, heart-shaped leaves and either white or pink flowers. Around the world, Fu Ti goes by other names including He Shou Wu, Chinese knotweed, climbing knotweed and flowery knotweed. According to a 2015 review published in the journal Pharmacognosy Research, Polygonium multiflorum, officially listed in the Chinese pharmacopoeia, is one of the most popular perennial Chinese traditional medicines known as He Shou Wu. The same review also points out Lab studies and clinical practice have demonstrated that it possesses various biological and therapeutic actions, including anti-tumor, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-HIV, liver protection, nephroprotection, anti-diabetic, anti-alopecia and anti-atherosclerotic activities. Some of the benefits associated with the use of Fu tea root. It has anti-inflammatory effects. It can improve skin health. It can improve hair growth and reduce grey hair. It relieves constipation. It helps to improve sleep quality. It can help increase oestrogen and manage menopausal symptoms. And it might fight age-related memory problems. In terms of Futi's chemical structure, it's been shown to contain bioactive compounds like chrysophanic acids, anthroquinones, amodin, rein, exitin and stilbene glycosides. Both in vivo and in vitro studies have demonstrated the anti-inflammatory effects of Fu Ti's bioactive constituents, and it occurs by the inhibition of the expression of pro-inflammatory signaling factors, including NF-kappa-B, TNF-alpha, nitric oxide synthase, and chemokines. Studies published in the aforementioned Pharmacognosy Research Review suggest that Fu Ti can have similar effects to prescription anti-inflammatory agents that are used to treat conditions like inflammatory bowel disease and dyslipidemia. Additionally, a traditional use of the Fu Ti is maintaining the strength and stability of the lower back and the knees by reducing aches associated with ageing and inflammation. Fu Ti is used in certain skin care and hair products and can be applied directly to the skin to help to treat many different ailments like acne, sores, carbuncles, skin eruptions, itching, athlete's foot, dermatitis, razor burns and scrapes. It can protect the skin thanks to its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects. Some use the Fu Ti to help prevent premature greying of the hair, thinning hair and hair loss. In fact, because it's said to bring colour back to greying hair, the Chinese translation of He Shou Wu is Mr. He's Black Hair. A 2017 study that was conducted on various animal species that was published in the Journal of Advanced Pharmaceutical Technologies and Research found evidence that the Fu tea, when used at a safe dose, can act as a potential agent for the treatment of the early hair greying and other loss of pigmentation-related diseases. The Fu tea seems to significantly induce melanin synthesis and has a positive effect on the hair pigment. Raw Fu tea acts as a natural laxative. It helps to reduce constipation and promote regularity. When used for this purpose, it's recommended only using it short term for about two to three days, as taking laxatives long term can result in loose stools, dehydration and diarrhea. A large scale survey done at Taipei Veterans General Hospital, Center for Traditional Medicine in Taiwan, that focused on the use of Chinese herbal medicines 
found the fu tea was the most commonly prescribed single Chinese herb, especially for the treatment of sleep-related conditions like insomnia. Although it's often used to treat insomnia in clinical practice, no clinical research exists in the West that's verified its sedative or anxiolytic effects. There's some evidence obtained from research that was conducted by branches of the Bipolar Clinic for Research Programme at both Harvard and also in Seoul, Korea, that showed the He Shou Wu bioactive compounds can have beneficial effects on anxiety and insomnia in patients with bipolar disorder. Due to concerns over using hormone and estrogen replacement therapy, many postmenopausal women are driven to seek alternative sources of estrogen to reduce their symptoms, including from herbal remedies. In one study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, estrogen bioactivity was studied among herbs, including red clover, donkey, black cohosh, soy, licorice, chaseberry, and foo tea. Soy clover, licorice and hops have large amounts of measurable oestrogen bioactivity. The researchers also state they discovered surprising high oestrogen activity in extracts of foo tea that were not previously reported. Soy had the most oestrogen activity of all the tested herbs, while foo tea had the second most. While more studies are needed to confirm how the foo tea works to help reduce the menopause symptoms, we'd expect that it works in a similar way to soy which contains high levels of isoflavones, a substance that mimics the effects of oestrogen. This could be helpful for managing symptoms tied to decreased oestrogen, like hot flashes, flushing, low sex drive and night sweats. Studies conducted on mice by researchers in China have found one of the anti-inflammatory and bioactive compounds purified from the foo tea can help to significantly reduce age-related changes in the hippocampus part of the brain and it can offer neuroprotection that can help prevent Parkinson's disease, dementia and Alzheimer's. Some research has shown when foo tea is used with ginseng, it can be especially helpful for reducing memory loss in older adults. Other results from mouse studies suggest dietary supplementation with either ethanol or water extract of the foo tea can reduce brain pathological changes and promote learning and memory in traditional Chinese medicine and Asian herbalism, the He Shu Wu is a popular and highly revered tonic. The He Shu Wu is said to act like an adaptogen to build the body's defence against stress and also to support the balance between yin and yang energies. The kidneys are often referred to as the root of vitality in traditional Chinese medicine since they are involved in essential life processes including the support of our metabolism, reproduction blood cleansing and waste removal. The foo tea is believed to absorb lots of qi or energy and to nourish the kidneys, which helps to increase the yin energy or our female energy. And this represents allowing, opening, intuition, nourishing and receiving. A yin deficiency can contribute to accelerated ageing, fatigue, burnout, stress, anxiety and aggression, all of which the foo tea can help to decrease. The primary essence of the foo tea is called jing and is said to share many of the same properties as goji berries. While the foo tea is not a stimulant, it's beneficial for lifting one's mood and energy. It's believed to positively affect the central nervous system and to be both energising and calming at the same time. Historically, it's also been said to cleanse the blood, relieve muscle aches, strengthen the bones and fight bacterial infections. Although Fu Tea is commonly called He Shou Wu, the two products are essentially the same. Around the world you can find four primary types of Fu Tea, raw, cured, wine and steamed. The Fu Tea root is edible when it's consumed raw, but can also be taken as a supplement, tea or tincture. It's said to have a sweet yet bitter taste. Most people find it pleasant, or at least not very off-putting because it's usually difficult to find fresh root in modern West nations. The easiest way to consume it is to take it in pill or powder form. Some people describe the raw unprocessed foo tea as white compared to red, which has been processed. The raw foo tea is usually firm, coarse and light brown or beige in colour. The colour of the product can depend on which part of the plant is used and the processing methods involved. The foo tea can be used by itself or prepared in the traditional manner where it's cured in water with black soybean sauce. 
Depending on the health ailment that you're dealing with, you might benefit from taking it with antiviral herbs to boost your immune system or with adaptogenic herbs to help you deal with stress. For example, the Fu tea can be used with ginger to improve digestion, licorice root to fight viruses and infections, cat's claw to reduce aches and pains, ashwagandha to reduce anxiety, and calendula to help to treat skin conditions. When taking the Fu tea in capsule or supplement form, always look for a product that lists the correct plant name for Fu tea, which is Polygonum multiflorum. A quality product should supply around 1000 mg or more of the Polygonum multiflorum per two capsules. The Fu tea dose recommendations differ depending on the condition that you're treating, your age and your general health. Because herbal products can differ considerably in terms of their concentration from batch to batch, always read the directions and begin with the lowest dose. There's not been any clinical studies supporting a specific dose of Fu tea. It's most commonly used at doses of 9 to 15 grams of raw herb. A dose of 560 milligrams in dried capsules can be taken two to three times a day. One teaspoon contains five grams of the root and this can be boiled in a cup of water for 15 minutes and then taken by mouth. Creams and ointments can be applied to the affected area three to four times per day. Due to potential side effects it's important not to take the high dose without being monitored by a doctor, especially for extended periods of time. According to the Handbook of Medicinal Herbs, He Shu Wu is considered one of China's great four herbal tonics, along with Angelica, Lysicum and Panax Ginseng. The use of Fu Ti in Chinese herbal medicine dates back to at least 713 AD. The man who's first credited with discovering the He Shu Wu in China is Neng Shi. He was a follower of Taoism and often shadowed his Taoist teachers in the mountains, where he discovered a long winding vine that he believed to have healing properties. Neng Chi ground up the root into a powder and swallowed a small amount of it on an empty stomach, and within a week he felt vitality flowing through his veins, increased sex drive and experienced youthful changes in his appearance. The tale of the discovery of He Shou Wu was written about by Li Ao from the Tang Dynasty, who authored the book The Legend of He Shou Wu. The herb also became known in China after a Ming Dynasty emperor named Shi Zhang was given the herbal elixir called Seven Treasure Bearded Beautifying Pill, in which the He Shou Wu was the main ingredient. Still today, the Seven Treasure formula that contains the He Shou Wu is used to address a qi deficiency and to promote the attractive youthful appearance. A herbalist named Li Shi Zhen, who authored a book named The Great Herbalism in 1578, was another man who brought attention to Fu Ti's benefits. Li Shi Zhen is considered one of the greatest contributors to the development of Chinese herbal pharmacy, and educated others about healing effects of He Shou Wu, especially its ability to stimulate sex drive, to help father children and to promote happiness. While the Fu Ti has been used for hundreds of years and it's been shown to have many healing abilities, it's also linked with certain side effects and even some serious health risks. In a number of cases of hepatitis, patients have been reported to have taken Fu Ti before developing the illness. Some research has also linked the herb to potential liver-related problems, including liver damage and making liver disease worse. A review of 450 cases in 76 articles found the Fu Ti can cause liver toxicity and may cause liver damage in different degrees and even lead to death. Most of the reported incidents were related to the long-term use and the overdose of Fu Ti. Liver damage associated with Fu Ti was also found to be reversible in most cases after treatment, with the majority of cases being cured. Potential side effects associated with the Fu Ti root include dehydration, loose stools, stomach pains, hyperglycemia and changes in blood sugar, changes in blood pressure and dizziness. Fu Ti can also interact with a number of prescription medications, including those used for managing diabetes, hepatotoxic drugs, warfarin, diuretics, stimulant laxatives like digoxin and many different medications that can change how the liver processes substances. There's been no studies showing that infants, children 
and pregnant and breastfeeding women can safely take the herb, so you should avoid it if you're in these situations. If you have any concerns about starting or using Fu tea or other Chinese herbs, consider working with a doctor who is trained in traditional Chinese medicine to ensure the product is safe for you. There are some who believe the negative effects of the Fu tea only occur when consuming the unprocessed root, and when you consume the processed root that's boiled in a black bean soup, that this deactivates the negative effects and potentiates the positive effects. However, research is lacking to back up this claim. To book a consultation or to learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.